it's overflow. I don't really know what's all, cause I'm a restless. <laughs> Catch an attitude, drop to the knees and show gratitude. Kiss my ring, chick. This song right here is for all the fellas out there. Taking care of business and making that money. To provide for their ladies, provide for their family. And to all the ladies out there, the fellas are going to need a little bit more than a big piece of chicken. If you got a good man and you want for nothing, and you want to keep that man, you need to learn how to check that attitude. You need to show some appreciation. You need to show some respect. Let's keep this party going. Girl, you need to bow down. Kiss All my friends, tell you later. Tell you later. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Kiss the ring, kiss the ring. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Pay how much to the king in your life. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, like hear you feel that. Bow sad. down. Girl, you need to show some respect. Obedience and loyalty, I need, I need that. that. Friendship and trust, I've earned that. Gratitude, appreciation, I deserve that. Bow down, pay how much to the king in your life. Baby girl, what's the deal? What's the deal? Got no time for freaking I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. Never want for nothing because I'm paying the bill. I'm paying the bill. No meal. Come on, girl, give me some feedback. Give me feedback. Let me know what's good, what's up. Where's your head at? Up, giving me you? attitude, not today, girl. Dead that. Strip off some clothes, I'm trying to beat that. Bed that. You're really saying not tonight? Not tonight. My blood is boiling hot, girl. You're getting me tight. Aw, oh, man. To the, right, to, the right, to the right, to the right, don't let that door hit your ass when you leave, you talking like you hot, you not, you not. shorty, I know dime pieces, trust me, you not, you not, I can get a next chick, next one. like Gucci said in the next 15 minutes, you ain't special, don't be foolish, running around town like you rich, no, I'm rich, with that- What's going on? What's going on? Oh yeah, we are 
coming back. Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. Let's get it. Shout out to the new crew. You idiot. Oh, don't be like that. Don't say that. Shout out to the strong and independent sisters. I know you are. Hey. In the chat room. Hey, city. Gender, let's get it. Come on. Woo. Big Shelly. Bobbity, bobbity, bobbity. We are back. Shout out to the CIA, the confident, intelligent, and assertive men out there. One love to the FBI, feminine, beautiful, inspirational ladies. How we doing tonight? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Are we good? Are we great? Are we? Nobody asked you, Kevin. I know nobody asked me nothing, but I'm going to tell you any goddamn way. We about to tell you, oh, no one asks you. No one wants your opinion. Who told this guy? Who is he to say anything? What? Who do you think you is? I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long, A long time, time ago. ago. And what did and I when? say will happen when I told you? Exactly <laughs> what just happened. I know that's right. Come on, everybody get that, that cobra. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing, everybody? Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. Feminine, beautiful, inspirational ladies. Let's get into tonight's program. But before we get started, how's everybody? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a great weekend? Hope you did. Getting a little late start because we had a two-part show today. I had to do that. Power of image breakdown. It's different than anything else I'm going to do on my show. And it's a standalone program. One of my manners. Candle of the evening. Laurier 62. Fragrance of the evening. Today I started off with a Roja Dove Oud. But then we decided to go on straight to Killian Rolling in Love. Third bottle of this stuff. It is so good. If you like Baccarat Rouge 540, uh, five, uh, you will love this stuff. Probably one of my favorite fragrances from the Killian line. My name is Kevin Samuels. For those who don't know, I'm a professional image consultant. My job is to make sure you look good, smell great, under the best version of yourself each and every day. But let's be honest, you're probably not here for that. You're here for to discuss relationships and talk about that kind of stuff. So we're going to honor that. And we're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Y'all see the problem? Y'all see the video? Do modern women have an eye problem. 
What the, what what's the problem with I? I modern ladies, what's the I problem? Before we get into that though, you gotta make sure we keep the likes or the engagement up over fifty percent. So when I look over and I see that we have close to we should have thirty six hundred likes right now because we're a little behind. Let's keep the likes up so we don't have to hear all this craziness. We don't want to have to hear all that crap. Let's just keep the likes up. Uh-oh, that's the wrong light. Ladies, modern women. And what do I mean by modern women? I mean women born in the last, oh, 40 or so years. Last 50 years, really. The modern sensibilities and notions of a lot of women today, and a lot of women seem to have an eye problem. Which eye? Right eye? Oh, your left eye. Which eye? You know what I mean by an eye problem? The problem seems to be singular. I, 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 me, 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 I, 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 me, me, I, I. I almost put a pirate up there with a patch on its eye. To talk about the I problem, many women tend to have, and it breaks down into one thing. What was that song? I N D E P. You know the independent song. She got her own car. She got her own car. Don't need this. Don't need that. Many modern women seem to have an independence problem. An independence problem. Appreciate it. Independence problem. What is the in, what is the problem with independence? Well, here's the thing. Ladies, many of you have the problem with independence. And over here on this side, we don't have any problem with women being educated, professional, well-spoken, well-mannered. All the things that my our mothers, our grandmothers, and every great, great group of women in the past had. Many women today seem to, amount of women to, seem to have their ego so tied up in their independence. But independence from what, ladies? It's like freedom. Freedom from what or free to do what? Freedom is something that any human being should want, but freedom comes with choices and responsibility. And many modern women seem to have an I problem. See, what do modern women what is all your college education and your degree and your PhD? I'm a PhD. And everything else got you guys. Because so many women are so happy with their PhD and your <laughs> dogs. You being the dog mom, what's going to end up? Buy a dog and die alone because far too many women are so independent that you are no good to a man longer than sex. That is sadly the reason that so many relationships today. Women today have such an independence problem that relationships aren't even called relationships. Now we don't even have relationships. Now you got situationships. You've gone from being the most married group of people prior to 65 to we can't even get relationships. Now you're in situationships. Now it's hookup. Is your independence really helping you? Or do women need something else? The three eyes. Independence is not what modern women is is my my opinion is not what best serves modern women. Independence is not it. What best serves modern women? Interdependence. That's an independent person who knows the value of cooperation and has a good faith can do spirit. An independent woman who knows the value of cooperation and has a cooperative, can-do spirit, meaning she does not have to be asked to do something. She is looking for ways to help other people out because she knows she's better off when the group is better. Independent people tend to look out for self. Interdependent people tend to look out for themselves and the group. See, that's what you thought I was going to twist it up. See, you've been lied to. You've been told by being independent that's your best outcome. Nope. Go back to the movie with Russell Crowe, A Beautiful Mind. And he said the problem with John Adams or Adam Smith's theory on economic collaboration was it said the best outcome is when everyone in the group is going for self. 
wrong, incomplete. Everyone is best served when everyone is going for best self and the group. Ladies, when you start realizing that your best outcome is when you are with a man, your best outcome is going to be served when you're going for what's best for you and him. And by extension, the community. Shout out to BGS Ipmore. Actually, I think I heard it from Mediocre Tutorials. And I heard BGS Ipmore. I think he was talking to a sister. And he asked the question. He said, when are black women going to be asked, what are they willing to give up, sacrifice, or do for the sake of the black community? You know what? Let, let me go back to that. I want to make sure I, I got that quote. I want to make sure I got that quote because I want to make that's an important premise. And I want to build on something to that because I think that is important. Ladies, what do you, I've asked? Do black women feel like they belong to black men? What do what do you think? What do you think? What do you owe black men? What do you need to do for the group? Anything? Do you need to do anything for the group? You know, let me do this real quick. That's what it is. Shout out to BGS Hitmore, master teacher. He was having a conversation and he asked a question that actually builds on my question. Do black women belong to black men? What do black women owe the community? Here's the last piece. What are black women willing to do to save the black community? What are you willing to do to save the black community? Hmm. Ladies, anything? No jumper. What are you willing to do to save the community? Anything? Or is it just anything? It, anything at all? What? And I'm asking you, black women, tonight, what are black women willing to do to save the black community? Because the only people who can talk about community are people who are interdependent. So you cannot talk around, sit around talking about black community and, and be standalone black women any longer. When black, when Ice Cube went around talking about the contract with black America and women kept trying to make a carve out, no more. Either black women, you are part of the community and you stop asking for carve out set asides, things that are exclusively for you and girls. Or stop talking about community. What are black women willing to do to save the black community that you say you love so much? Seeing as though one when I ask what do women owe the community, the women owe the community families, children. The community has made it to where you can survive. The men have built the world so much to where you can be independent. But guess what? You owe people. Men know they owe. Women, you owe. What do you owe? And if you can't figure out what you owe, what are you willing to do to save? How many times are men told to get out there and go become something and then come back and tutor and educate and mentor these boys and da 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 Fine. What are women willing to do to save the black community? Or what, and, and further, and I'm going to expand this too, because so many people watch this show. Women, what are you willing to do to save your communities? What are you willing to do to save your country? Save the, thing, to save the things you say you want, or is your independence above all? And either way, are you willing to live your life that way? How many of you women say one thing, but then you live another with that Bradley effect? You want it out of your mouth, you say community, but you live your life independent. 
And now it's time to start asking women, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to do to save? What do you owe? Who do you belong to? Because you women, modern women have an eye problem. You're too independent. You're not interdependent. And then you wonder why modern men are going elsewhere, looking the other way, don't care as much. Because modern men have an eye problem too. You know what the eye problem modern men have, ladies? We got to get these likes up. I'm going to look down. If we don't have these likes up, we're going to go over the top. Modern men have an eye problem. You know what the eye problem modern men have? Incentive. Modern women are giving modern men little to no incentive to do anything other than have sex with you. I said it. I said it. I said it. Modern women are giving modern men little to no incentive to do anything other than have sex with you. This is why you hear so many people talk about swiping left, swiping right. This is why you hear so many guys talk about, I'll have to have sex with you before I even take you on a date. Because that's pretty much the, that's pretty much what you can expect to get from a woman, sex. You can't expect companionship, anything, girlfriend, wife. What? These things are foreign. So if you don't like that you're being treated like a sex object or objectified or men are, men are no longer chivalrous, what incentive are you giving them? Independent women don't give men incentive. Independent women do not give men incentive. Mark it. Interdependent give men inspiration. Mark it. That's why I said feminine, beautiful, inspirational. Ladies, what do you owe your community? Ladies, do what do, do you belong to your men ladies what are you willing to do to save your community if and if you're willing if you say you don't owe your community anything get away if you say that you don't owe, owe or belong to any group of men fine and if you say, and you're not willing to do anything to save your community get out of the way stop asking for things stop talking about things stop being a part of the conversation and let the people who are willing to actually try to work together in good faith come together because the men all the men want is a cooperative woman inspirational women incentivize men independent women Men are not incentivized. Let's talk about it, ladies. Let's get it up. Because that's where the rubber beats the road. We've been told that there are no husbands and no this, no that. No, men just don't have any incentive. And human beings are incentive-driven creatures. Ladies, a man's incentive today is just to have relations with you. It's not to stay with you, build with you. Sadly, many women, many single mothers today are pregnant longer than they've been with their BD. Oh, shit. Oh, don't get mad at me. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. That's right. I didn't make up the rules. You picked them. And then you decide when you and then when you decide you want to slow down or honestly, when you decide you want to give up, you want a good, a productive, competitive, successful man to come and clean up the mess like Obsidian say, no, they're not being the cleanup man. So if you really want to, if you really want men to believe you belong to them, if you really want the men to be a part of the community, what do you owe the community? And what are you willing to do to save it? Because if you're not willing, to, if the women are not willing to stand up and say it, then they don't deserve to be a part of the community. Then you don't deserve to be a part of the conversation, in my opinion. If a woman's not willing to stand up and say, this is what I owe and it's what I'm willing to do to save, period, point blank, in the sentence, not I'm willing to do this. If that, no, that is no. Get that out. I'm asking women, what are you willing to do up front without saying, I'll do this if that. That's, uh, that's chicken or egg. Men are expected to do without getting anything else. Men have built the communities. Men have built the world and they built the world. And sadly, 40% of men or 60% of men, it's either 40 or 60%, I need to go check my stat. A large percentage of men will never have children. 
So what incentive do men who will never have children have to make your independent world any better? They don't. This is why I've said when women have this notion, I'll smile at the man I belong to. I'll submit to the man I belong to. That's why you feel unprotected. Because you owe men you're not sleeping with something as well. You owe men of the community a debt. And you should be, when what are you willing to do to save the community that you say you love that's occupied and filled with men that you are not having sex with? You owe them something. If you don't think so, let's talk about it. Oh, I know they're going to be pissed at me. What I owe somebody? You owe Pook. You owe. Remember that from New Jack City? You owe Pookie. You owe Pookie. You owe. You owe. And that's the thing. You owe. If black men are, if men are old, if men got to think about, you know, when I was, uh, when I turned 18, we had to sign up for the selective service. Because we owed a debt to our country. And here's the funny thing. Men like myself, people who talk like me, we are disruptive by nature. We are disruptors. And ideas like this are disruptive. Because too many women have been lulled into the position of thinking, you are the prize. And you owe nothing. You are only owed something. Got news for you ladies. That's not how this works. Not how it works. Ah, uh, it's almost, ah, uh, yeah. Ladies, not how it works, but let's get to it. Luna. Don't say it, boy. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. I'm a PhD. All right, PhD. Shout out to all the PhDs. Got news for you. PhD. But she can't keep a man. Meet Alyssa Carson. She can't get married. She can't have kids. But she's preparing to be the first human on Mars. She will never return to Earth. Luna 
So, the majority of men with PhDs marry. The vast majority of women without with PhDs don't marry. More than 70% of women with PhDs never marry or have children. Was that right? Was it Let me verify that stat. But the majority don't. Why? Why don't you <clears throat> that's a question for another time. And I said it to a lady the other day, and I'm going to say it again. Ladies, it's because where you, if you value relationship and marriage. Turn it on. Here we go. Money world. Put it over here. You got to, if you're going to be on, you got to be on camera. You got to be on camera either on Zoom or you got to be on camera on um, if you want to be next to me on 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 the interview screen, you can do that. Or if you don't want to be on, if you want to be on, next to me on the interview screen, click the Ask God for the link. If you just want to be on the Zoom panel, click the Zoom panel. But you must be on camera over here. You don't necessarily have to be on on the screen. No anonymous faces. But as we get as we get this chimed in, open the boost mobile line. Yeah, that's right. Ladies, what do you owe? What do you owe? What do you owe? What do you owe? If anything. All right. So iPhone, what's your name? So mute you. All right. Go ahead. Unmute yourself. You you turned your you turned your video off. All right. Here we go. I think it's a fair question. I think it's a fair question. Do women owe your community, and what are you willing to do to save the black community? All right, Lydia, how are you? Unmute yourself. Hi, Lydia. Yeah, I can hear you now. How old are you, by the way? All right, so what do you got for me? What do, uh, what question did you come here to tackle? Um, I actually just like saw that you were live and I joined in last second. So um, I'm kind of out of the loop right now. So why do y'all do that? Y'all just jump on panels? Not on I, I honestly, I honestly didn't even think I was going to get in because like I've tried to get in before and I've never gotten in. So I didn't even think this was going to work. Uh, I'm, I'm always curious as to why that is though. Because I got a show. So you click on the link because you didn't think you were going to get in now that you're here. Now that what, I'm here. What sense does that make? I mean, I'm trying to understand why y'all do that. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly didn't even, I wasn't. Do you have a question about I didn't anything? I think it was. What'd you say? Do you have a question about anything? Because now that you're here, I don't want you to just sit here and, and, and look silly. Okay. What, Okay, can um, what were you guys talking about beforehand? No, 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 no. That's a whole a whole monologue. Why do you normally watch the show, and what question do you have? Um, I normally watch it because of your viral moments, and um, a lot of people have a problem with you, and so I never jump to conclusions. So I started watching just to kind of get a feel to why people were like up in arms about you. I personally have never been offended by anything you said, but um, I can see why people get offended. Okay, to your question, quite your question. Um, you say question people, you is, say people are offended. Are you saying women are offended? Yeah. Okay, so I, I like to be, I like to be specific. People aren't offended by me, women are offended by me. 
And are these women, do these women tend to be in shape, fit, childless, and attractive? No. That's why they're upset. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, I mean, no. I, I mean, can we just admit that? I mean, that's why they're angry because yeah. they fall into the demographics of being out of shape or overweight yeah. with children and or unattractive. And two of the three things, you can do something about your weight and your shape mm-hmm. and even your your child status. Yeah. What your face is, we're all born with that. But there's anything yeah. that I say about women, stuff that's really outside of a, their control if they choose to control it. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, I guess my question, now that we've been talking for a second here, um, a question that kind of pops into the mind is how how do you think women, especially my age, should approach should approach how to be, I guess, like a top tier female in a sense, because I feel like in the a top tier female? Oh like uh, just like as like the the rap videos like to call it like a bad bitch because it's like why do you want to be a, why do you want to why okay a top tier female is not wait, a bad wait. first off hold on hold on let's be clear what's uh, what's pop what's pop what's pushed in quote unquote rap culture yeah no no that's not no 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 I'm but, saying in it, I'm saying it's different depending on whatever culture or whatever class that you're in like in rap culture it's like the being the bad bitch you know um, but that's and- what i was saying stop stop that's what i was saying you're mixing stuff up saying the bringing in the would you bring in rap along with academia no okay no but, but I listen like listen of- listen listen so that's the not you shouldn't link those things that's all i'm saying and to and to go automatically to Instagram or to rap thinking that's what men want is not what men want. That's good to look at. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. There's no different than what you see in rap videos today is what used to be seen in the strip clubs or go-go dancers or either of those wives. Mm. No. All I right. Mean- so So in asking me, what does a woman need to do to be a woman like that? I can't help you. That's not. That's why we need to make the distinction. That's not necessarily what I was asking. Then reframe your question. I guess. I honestly don't even know how. To, I I didn't even. I don't even know how to put it in words. Like. It's, okay, what would you what what would you say to young girls who are being approached with all these different imageries on what you know what men want? You know, you have rap saying this, you have college folks saying this. You you just have they have so many different images. Stop. That stop. I'm stay. Are you in college? No, not anymore. No. One of the problems I have with young ladies today is you ladies are so short tension, short attention. You can't even frame a question. A college educated woman can't give me a simple question. If this is the case, turn off the TV, turn off Instagram, turn off the videos, minimize your inputs because I am tired of hearing young ladies who are so overloaded overwhelmed that that makes you sound scatterbrained i am scatterbrained right now i'm not well that is but that's no you're not that's not just right now and that's a part of the problem with this texting instant gratification let me ask you lydia when was the last time you picked up an actual book and read it for enjoyment it's sitting on the table right now actually i don't have any social media i said when was the last time you picked one up and read it 10 minutes ago okay what book are you reading uh, the Bible. And you're reading the Bible for enjoyment. Yeah. Do you realize how now you come in asking questions about 
what should a woman do to be a bad bitch? And all these no. input. Listen, I listen very well, young lady. Listen. Because you can go back and listen to this section, and you the question you tried to frame was all over the place. And it then was. You tell, and I, that's not stop. What I, that's not what I meant. What did I say? Did I say stop? Am I, am I talking to myself, people? I'm trying to teach you something or tell you something. But you know what? Go ahead. Because this is another problem. 23 years old, impatience. Go ahead. No, I'm listening. I'm Young listening. Lady, I, yes. Finally, finally. So juxtaposing what you said against the question you're about to ask makes no sense. There's no one that it doesn't make a lot of sense to come in and say, hey, how do you want to be a, a, a high tiered woman? And according to the world and you read in the Bible, I don't care how you frame it. Those two things don't matter. Make make sense. Right. Are you living your life according to the Bible? Say it again. Are you living? Do you want to live your life according to the Bible? Yeah. OK, so. That. Honestly, like when I was asking that question, it wasn't for me. It really wasn't for me. I was trying to get a conversation going about how. All you can talk about is you. Me? Okay. That's another problem. You you ladies try to ask questions for billions and millions of women that you are not. And, and okay. no matter how you slice it, ma'am, it sounds crazy. You're right. How, You're how right. can you ask a question on behalf of millions of women you don't know? Instead of worrying about the woman that I'm talking to. You are right. Thank you. So my point still remains. You guys are too scattered. Okay. Do you want, do, that's why I ask, and for people who are wondering, this is why I'm so direct and I ask my questions. I cut people off because this is what tends to happen. Do you want to be married one day? Yeah. Do you want children? Yeah. How many children would you like to have? As many as I can. How many children would you like to have? Over um, five. Over five. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're after you're pregnant? Uh, not full time, no. What percentage of the financial family load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Ten, twenty. What state do you live in? Tennessee. How much how much money would a man need to make to be able to bring? to provide for a family of five children and a wife, six, seven people to where his wife only has to work 10 to 20% of the time for her lifetime? Um, well, well, my dad did it. So, okay. So. I did not uh, uh, now see that what I asked a question. See, you can't stay here, young lady. Answer that question. How much money would a man need to make to facilitate a lifestyle for a woman like you? Don't tell me what your dad did. Tell me the number. Tell me what you think the number is. But don't go give me a narrative about something that's not going to end All in right. a number. 60000 just to be comfortable. How much? Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. For a, for a wife and five kids. That's just to be comfortable. I'm not needy. I'm not extra. $60,000 a year. I'm just saying, well, I'm hopefully by that point, I have <clears throat> something. $60,000 a year. <sighs> What's your degree in? What'd you say? What is your degree in? I never finished. Hmm. Do you live by yourself? Yeah. No roommates? Oh, I have a roommate, yeah. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? No. I can tell. I'll tell you why, because that smoke detector is a single girl tell. How? Because you got a beeping smoke detector and no and that's a single woman tell. I'm not I'm not staying in my house right now. Okay. I'm I'm babysitting right now. So I need you to I need you to be clear. Sixty thousand dollars for seven people. Honestly, Kevin, I didn't even know how to answer that question. I don't know. I well, that's I've sad. never really that's researched sad. that. It's that's sad. 
It's sad, and I'll tell you why it's sad. Why? Because at 23 years old, you're in marrying age. And if you don't know, it's sad because you young ladies have no idea who men are what it means to be a man, how much it takes to facilitate a life you're talking about. It's just, fa it's just, and that's why I ask these questions so people can understand how much young women are being failed with information. $60,000, ma'am. Wait, can I? No, ma'am, that's, that's $30, no, $30 an hour. How much does the average, go ahead, interject, whatever you want to interject, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, at that point, hopefully, I would be able to, um, hopefully my career has taken off and I will be able to Your career in what? bring something to the table already your, at that point. Your career in what? Ch child care. Child care? Yes, like, you know, I have savings and, you know, like, I want to have something financially coming in. To Were you raised with your I'm mother and father? Like empty handed. Were you raised with your mother and father? Yes. Ma'am, in order to have five children and have a wife not work in Tennessee, which is right above Georgia, I'm not you're, trying to live in Tennessee, though. It doesn't. Well, you better be. Where are you trying to live then? I want to be back where my family is in Minnesota. What? As much as I've said $60,000, ma'am, you're talking closer to $600,000 for as many kids as you're talking about. So, do you work? Do you work right now? Oh, do I? Yeah. Okay. Full time? Mm -hmm. uh, are you making more than $50,000 a year? Um, no. Hold on. Can I do the math? I just got a new job and I haven't... No, are you hourly no, or I'm salary? Making, are I'm you hourly or salary? 40. I'm making 40. 20 dollars. So that's twenty dollars an hour. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So at forty thousand dollars a year, and you said you only wanted to work ten to twenty percent. How in the hell can a man who is making just twenty thousand dollars more than you provide for you and five kids? That's what I'm saying. Like at that point hopefully i have my own financial um that i have something financially coming in that i can bring to the table if not of course i don't want five kids that's just ludicrous i'm just saying like that's always been so i've always wanted a big family but if i can't afford a big family then i'm ma'am the problem is young ladies like yourself are just allowed to sit out here and not think about things. The question I asked you, all it would have required for you to do is sit down and say, how much does it cost to take care of one child? How, and then multiply that roughly times five. As an adult, how much does it cost to take care of me? Then he would have to, take, he would have to make as much, he'd have to replace my income. Then he has to do whatever he is doing for him. Then he have to do it for one, two, three, four children, however many. No matter what answer, ma'am, there's no way if you would have just sat down and seriously tried to think, you could have got sixty thousand dollars. And the problem really is, sat down and did that. but that's not acceptable. And that's okay. my point: that women are allowed to walk around and not think, even when just asked. It's like, well, you're on the show. Try to give an answer. He's like, oh, this, this, whatever. And the problem is, after this is over, you'll go back to doing... You are not different than a lot of other women. That's my point. 
That's why I say modern women are not very serious. Y'all don't think about anything. I think about things. I think about things. I'm just not going to lie. Like, um, I never really thought about like fan finance. I'm now just realizing like you have to think about finances. Well, who's and, supposed to um, pay for I, it? Huh? Who's supposed to see? And, and this is why when ladies get understand, you get upset with men like myself. I'm, when not, we talk, I'm not talking you. about you. I'm talking to my audience. Oh. And ladies, you get upset with men like myself when we say men need to be in charge and so forth because you've seen on my show, for the most part, a lot of women don't want to think about this stuff. They don't want to be concerned. They just want it done. Well, the yeah. person that does it needs to run it. I mean, I thank you for being honest, but I'm going to tell you this, young lady. You really need to think, just like anybody else, if you want a husband, and you want children, you got a lot to think about because you got more than just showing up being cute. A man wants something, a return on investment. He's going to want somebody who's bringing something to the table besides a womb. Uh -huh. So you what know? are those things? What are those things? Book a session. Uh, um, no, no. I, I belabor that because I think it's an important point to make, folks. But, um, Monique, hello. Hi, how are you? I am well. How old are you? I am 29, about to be 30 in exactly a month from now. Hold on, let me get a second to just recalibrate. That, that fucking made my head hurt. Okay, Monique. Yes. Um. Yes, I did call in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. So, um, right off the bat, I, I'm about to say to the young lady before, this was a missed opportunity for her to educate or your um herself because um, if are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Because she said she came on a platform and she wasn't ready for her level of questioning. And I'm here to tell her that, listen, I'm, 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 I'm an electrical engineer by, by, by trade. That's my job. And you have to be prepared for any form of situation. Yep. And this is why we need to re-educate our women. Um, yep. I was introduced to you a couple of days ago. And my boyfriend has been watching your, um, your, your, you know, your YouTube videos extensively. We both have been, and I like, <laughs> yes, I'm Jamaican, just like what everybody says. Hold on, hold on, hold on, just hold on. Hold on mm -hmm. my Guys, get my likes up or else we'll go to the music. I should have over 10,000 likes. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and let, me, let me do this real quick, Monique, while I'm getting yes. Young, you why that was so painful for you guys to listen to is so many women, especially in our women, are just walking through the world sleepwalking. They're 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 up they're awake, but they're not thinking. And like the woman saying, you have an opportunity to educate yourself, but you're more worried about asking questions for everybody else and trying to think of this. And it's like you don't even understand what the hell's going on. We are not being serious people. Let me juxtapose it against what I said earlier when a young man felt out of place with a blazer on and dress shoes. Because even though he may have been a college graduate and a writer, in a lot of ways, he was still a boy in his mind. Um, let me go ahead and unmute you and let's see if we had a... Did you have a, okay, did you have anything on the topic? Um, what, what yes, do you, you, what are women willing to say, give up, what are women to do to save the black community? That's what I really want to know. Go ahead. Um, I think we, there's a lot of re-education that needs to, to happen. And I'm not talking about from a former, like from a, a college level. I think they're re-education because, um, 
I'm I'm a bit different from the typical re education and re education in what regard though? I mean, because uh, here's, here's my here's my th here's my thing about re education. Yes. All of that stuff. It all takes time. Yes. And and we don't and I don't sense any sense of urgency for women to do anything other than be. <laughs> so what you're saying is re-education. That's, that's going to require work. And we're talking about people who get upset if you just ask them to work out or smile. <laughs> so I get it, but I'm not too optimistic about um, and the I desire. Think, and I think sometimes we need to listen because um, the young lady just now she reminded me when I was reminded me when I was much younger. However, we're in 2021. Some when she just said that. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, that was the wrong. I'm. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, I'm sorry. iPhone, I'm mute. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. How old are you? I'm 31. 31. So what do, what's, what do you have for me? Because my question is, what are black women prepared to do to save the black community? What are black women prepared to do? Um, what should black women, what should black what women What am I prepared to, to Yeah, that's the <laughs> well, question. I, that's the general question tonight. Yeah. So I think that black women need to speak to each other. I feel okay. like the, yeah, I feel like, I don't know why I'm nervous, <laughs> but I, I feel mean. like the conversations, um, you know, the certain topics that you bring up are very important. And mm -hmm. the fact that you um, speak with such, I mean, I feel like sometimes you're a little abrasive, I'll be honest with you, but the truth doesn't necessarily need to be given softly because it. So, 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 so if that's the, so if that's the case, then why, uh -huh. then if you believe that, why even bring up the okay. fact that you think I'm abrasive? If you really believe that, be well, because at times, like I'm not saying always, because the truth should always be, you know, given. It only hurts those that aren't willing to accept it. However, I feel like, like I don't know, on a on a handful of occasions, I can't specify right now, but like. It's like mm, that was a little that was a little so, rough. So what? But so, I mean, okay, uh, let's say fine, let me, and, and here's, are, let, so let me not, say this though. Let that. me say this. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, the more we do that, we focus on stuff. In my opinion, that doesn't matter. I agree. You're so I'm gonna give you what you just said. That we okay. women need to talk to each other and this and this. this is a critical thing. And we're worried about how I say stuff a handful of times. Uh, can you handle that level? Can you handle that perfection standard if I turned it to you? Can If I turned the spotlight to you and I critiqued how you said everything you did at all times, would you be as perfect as you think that I should be? Not at all. I don't and stop think the, that the, you the list, should be That's not the perfect. point, man. You just said uh -huh. a few times. If it's a few times, mm -hmm. we don't... I started this talking about how a man's image is handled. Correct. What you made is a classic thing that we tend to do. Minor majoring in the minors and something that's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. You, in my personal opinion, if we were really serious, that stuff would start going away. You wouldn't even think to bring it up and vice okay. versa. But we're so used to nitpicking each other. Mm. that's why we get nowhere because we nitpick focusing on the wrong thing huh the problem instead of the solution yeah i understand i agree okay so, uh, so what what do women question. what do women need to talk to each other about just creating a community where you know we're not necessarily lying to each other or like holding each other accountable rather 
and to a standard because uh, the issue is that the black, like that black families aren't staying together because okay. women don't necessarily understand their roles. Like Are you whether married? they weren't taught. Um, yes, but separated. <laughs> um, so, how long were you married? Five years. How many children? One. How old is your kid? Three. And why are you guys not, why are you guys separated? Um, there were multiple of things, but uh, I was, there was an infidelity on my part. And he left you? Yes. How long ago? Mm, we've been separated two years. All right. See, this is why my point was germane. You can't, I said, what can black women do? And you immediately went to black women. We need to talk to each other about this. When your situation is what I'm thinking about, black women mm -hmm. need to be with black men and having black families instead of having women wreck their own homes. It would have been better, in my opinion, for you to come in and talk about your circumstance and address how to possibly fix your circumstance. Because well, that's what we that we need black men and black women together, making black families. I agree, and black women coming together and holding that, each other. That black women coming together, black women coming together um, is after is not. You can't do everything at once. I agree. Just think about how many think about how many black women you hear will say they're pro black family. Mm -hmm. And have no black man. Yeah, that saddens me. Uh, you can't be pro black. How are you pro black family? And you don't have a husband and kids, and if that's or that's not the goal. I'm going to say this to the audience. I'm going to see if the men approve. I think our women are focused on things outside of themselves because the focus in the mirror is too painful. I find it interesting how many women want to come on and don't want to ask questions for themselves. They want to talk about every other woman. And then when I start asking questions about them, it's like, oh, well, this is a bigger issue. Like for you and your husband, y'all are separated. Are, are y'all still in communication? Uh, no. Well, you, yes and are, no. We don't verbally communicate, but so are you guys going to divorce? Yeah. All right. And there's no, and he doesn't want, he doesn't want to reconcile with you in any way. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I mean, the, the infidelity happened once and it was with a woman, but there were like layers to that. So you, well. you, you had an, so you, you cheated with a woman. Correct. All right. And was there ever a chance that you guys could resolve? Um, ever a chance? Then? Yeah, because when, when you found when he found out that you were having an affair, how did he find out oh, about it? Yeah, it, how did he find well, out about he it? Just, he discovered like he found out the day of. He asked me, and I was honest. No, no. I, I, why was he no man what i'm asking is how do you even be mm -hmm. people just don't go around and say i ain't got going to the store by the way are you cheating i mean <laughs> well no he uh was supposed to pick me up from work and i wasn't there and then when i got home he asked me and i told him so you were supposed to be you're supposed to pick you up and you were gone and then when you got home he said where you been and you said i was with another woman it didn't happen that quickly, but more or less to like skip the okay. dramatics. Mm -hmm. um, did you did did you ask? Did you stop seeing that woman? Um. Yes. It only happened once. But did you ask for? Were... Did you ask for forgiveness? Yes. I asked for forgiveness, and then we tried to, okay. you know, make it work after that. Did you guys go However, to counseling? 
No, we did not. All right, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to understand. You're about right. to record. I you're, oh, stop, stop, the... Breathe. Listen mm -hmm. to what I'm about to say. Listen to what I'm about to say. I'm listening. I think you ladies, I think y'all y'all give up far too easy. You're married. You got a kid. Listen. Mm -hmm. You're married. You got a kid. You were sloppy with your cheating. He asked. And you did you really have to tell him if you were not going I mean, to continue? Listen, if you weren't going to continue to see her, did you have to share that? Because see, let me tell you ladies something. And I'm going to explain this to you. Don't tell men truths that they can't handle. If you had an affair yeah. with a woman and you weren't planning on doing it, you should have lied to your husband. You got damn right. You should have lied and kept your family together. You should have carried that guilt around like a goddamn albatross around your neck and kept your family together for your kid instead of unburdening yourself, telling him the truth, wrecking your own home. My point of view. I'm just, I've said this before though. And I said it that way to kind of demonstrate that if you were truly sorry and you didn't want to do it, Cause if you just said oh, I was, I was, I, I don't know, playing tiddlywinks. Curious, but when you curious, yeah, curious. But okay. if you tell a man that you're cheating, he has to do. He can't unhear that, and he has to react. It wasn't. I've told, a, and I'm gonna tell you something. I've told, to, I've told, I've said this to my I, ex. May I say something before go ahead, you? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, you know, it wasn't something that was like continuous. It was something out of curiosity, open opportunity, and then it happened. That's so what I me, said. So if it was only one time, don't do it. And if people okay. think I'm full of shit, if people, <laughs> go ahead. If people think I'm full of shit, I've said this several years. I told this to my ex. If you could, if you cheat on me one time, don't unburden yourself to me. You carry that shit to the grave. The only way you tell me is if, um, it's ongoing, then I need to go. Are you saying you had a curiosity one time and it was over? Yes. Then you shouldn't have said anything. That's what I'm saying. So ladies, <laughs> so don't- So then honesty, okay, so honesty and trust doesn't matter. Fuck your honesty and, and trust. You wrecked your home. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> so you unburdened yourself on the notion of honesty and trust, so now you got a kid that's a product of divorce. Much better alternative. Yeah, unfortunately. Shout out to Sister Shahrazad Ali. When she was talking about this last night on Mediocre Tutorials, y'all are far too... You That was selfish. I agree. So my point is, and and I'm, I'm doing this not to beat up on you, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is... Yeah, it's fine. You unburden yourself, but have you tried to reconcile... What have you... Have you guys exalt... When I asked, did you guys go to therapy? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, have you really, really, really exhausted all of your options? Put your pride to the side and try to fix your marriage? Um, I mean, we've spoken about therapy. Have you put your pride to the side? I'm asking about you. Have you put okay. your pride to the side? Swallowed your pride and exhausted all of your options. I'm sorry, honey. And if I got to stand on this doorstep for for 500 days begging your forgiveness until you let me in, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. No, I, mean, I have not. Well, then, home wreckers. Pride for home wreckers. This is what I mean. You guys may not like my approach, may not like my tone, but ultimately, this is, we, uh, you're 30 what? 31. 31. Your mm -hmm. great, back in your grandmother or your great grandmother's time, it was not uncommon to, when one of those women died, people were meeting whole other sides of families. I'm going to tell you ladies something. Let me, do, do you think, that, that I was looking at a channel called It's Complicated. Do you think that, um, Trust and fidelity and monogamy should be uh, mandatory in a relationship. Monogamy. Mm -hmm. Do you? 
Are you asking me? Yeah. Um, no, actually, my husband and I used to talk about polygamy as well. However, you know, finances didn't really reflect a capacity to do that. So. You know, okay, but the ultimate point is, if we were to, if we lived longer, we wouldn't be monogamous. Monogamy is a silly concept. Uh, I agree. Polygamy makes more sense. Can but that's for but that's for people resources. who. But, uh, but, I want to stay on track here. It doesn't make. I want to make sure mm -hmm. I clear it up. Monogamy. If you realize that the majority of children on this planet is made by a small group of men. Most men aren't making kids. Kids are, if you just look at, you can't get 7 billion people the way we are. But my point ultimately is to this you and your husband, your child, your child is how old? Three. Three. And you've been separated for two years. Mm -hmm. And can you honestly, and if you haven't exhausted all your options to get your husband back, how are you going to explain this to your child? I mean, there are a lot of other things. And always, so ma'am, always, always. <laughs> but I'm not going to go off on that shit. You did yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. You yes, did it. it. Okay. So if you, if, if, let me flip. The, and all the women who are pissed off at me right now, if this were a man I was talking to and he cheated on his wife and I said, you got to exhaust all your options, get your wife back, y'all be like, you're goddamn right. Well, then, uh, it, and, 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 it, and it goes round robin to what? Or black women do to say, willing to save the black community. This may sting a little bit. Hold on. Mm. Oh, you came in saying that we need to talk to one another as black women. Yeah. That's what you said. I submit that if you ain't willing to save your own marriage, you can't say shit about saving a community. Okay, fair. And that's how many of us think as men. They're always looking external. Versus looking, the best thing we all can do. People are like, how are you going to say something? You've been divorced twice. Yeah, but I at least tried to be with two black women. And I got one black child. I, you can't say, just because it didn't work didn't mean I didn't try. But so many of our women are not even trying. And when you're there, you give up so quickly. Last question. So, because since you've been very honest, I'm going to ask you a very honest question. Sure. The women who came before you, the Rosa Parks and all those strong women that we talk about, mm -hmm. do you? How far do you think we would have gotten as a people with women who have the constitution of modern women? Not far at all. <laughs> then, ladies, like di a... dislike my tone all you want to. But a, we, we need our women to be not wreck their own homes. Notice, I'm not going, I'm not talking about the infidelity and the, and the moral question of what she should or should not do. I don't know. I'm talking about the, the duty and responsibility and commitment that you both made when you had the child and, you, and it's about something bigger. Correct. I think, so thank you. Appreciate it. This is actually going to be a pretty good conversation. Before y'all file, before you file, I think you may need to really consider uh, trying to make it right with your husband. Because, ma'am, as a single mother out here, you need to understand most men are not trying to stand up to be stepfathers these days. Understood. Listen. I was uh, listening to how like a man can be sued for child support even if that's not their child. Like, yep. that's crazy to me. So, that's crazy. Appreciate it, ma'am. Bye bye. Thank you. Like I said, y'all may not always think I, I look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I told an ex of mine, if you cheat on me, you better make sure I don't find out about it. And don't you ever, and if it's only one time, don't you ever tell me. You take that shit to your grave. Because once you tell somebody something, I think a, I think that is the most selfish thing you can do. If you know you're not going to do it, you regret it, you keep it. Because when you tell a man, in this case, and tell a man, I was going to say, or a woman, but in this case, a man, he can't unhear that. He has to know it. Uh, 
Everybody in the Zoom room, you got to get on camera. And if you're going to troll, just go ahead and throw your picture up. Because I'm not going to put you on until I see who you are. Until I see who you are and your your video is showing. So that goes for PP, JB, LH, and uh, Co, whatever that is. Yep. So why is that important? Because this whole concept of, of monogamy and faithfulness, yeah, that was when people lived to be like 40 or 50, 60. So I listened to one channel. I was like, all right, you think monogamy and should be faithful? Okay, that's easy to say when lifespans are short. What if human beings live to be a thousand years old? You think you're not going to get tired of seeing somebody? That's why there has to be rules to this stuff. All right. Each one of you, I'm going to ask you to start your video. And if you don't start your video, I'm going to start booting you. So, uh, JB, go ahead and start your video or do your little troll thing because I'm going to boot you in three, two, gone. Um, you got a mask on. Uh, cold, cold. You need to go ahead and turn on your camera. Uh, Princess Paul, unmute yourself. Hello? Yeah, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, how old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Hi, so... How old are you? I am 22. All right, what do you have on the subject? So this talks about do I have a problem with you? And what? Do I have a problem? Do you have a problem with me? Yeah, isn't that the name of this um, live stream? Not I. Do modern women have a problem with you? No, but go ahead. Okay. Well, the problem I wanted to voice out was I don't like how you try to equate BMI to the overall like well-being or basically trying to equate it to what black women deserve or what they can attain in a man. If okay. That makes sense. Okay. I, first of all, I never try to equate it to your overall well-being. But I, what I will tell you is it does equate to what women can attain because guess who gets to pick? Okay. Who gets to pick? Who, no, 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 no. All right. All right. And what do the men say they want? Okay. This is what the man says they want. Yeah. They want the. Stop. What do the men I'm say they the want? They want women who are what? Who are slim. Fit. Nice figure. Fit. 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 Okay, so what's your definition of fit? Not obese. And what's your definition of obese? It can't just less be than thirty percent BMI, way less than a man at your height. Okay, and that's where I have a problem. I don't care. Do you, do you it doesn't know, matter, do ma'am. I don't give a shit about all this stuff you're about to run down from how BMI is collected. It could come from goddamn Santa Claus. It won't matter. The difference is that's what men want, and if you don't give men what they want, you ain't gonna get what you want. You will not overtalk me. That's one thing that won't happen. Are we clear on that much? You're 22. I understand. You're 22, right? Yes, I'm 22. All right. Ma'am, I know where BMI comes from, and it doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter to the men. It doesn't matter. Like, how tall okay. are you? Like, how tall are you? I am 5'6". Dress size? I'm a size 4. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? I was 156. You're 5'6? Five, yes. 156. Okay, you said dress size 4. I, fine. Fine what? That means if, I, if, if you're 156 and a dress size 4, what's your complaint? My complaint. That's what I'm trying to get at is that I don't like how you basically be little women by telling them because I don't belittle women. I tell women the, the truth. 
that's not the truth. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is the fun. truth. Oh, you it's not the truth. Fun. If it's not the truth, go into the comment section, listen to what the men are saying. See, I'm going to say something that you ladies need to hear. Your feelings have been coddled for far too long. You don't, do you care how men feel about the fact that women coming here saying they don't want an average earning man? You muted yourself. Do you care? Do you care how average earning men feel when they hear women coming in saying they don't want average earning men? Okay, well, nobody wants an average earning man. Oh, but that's belittling average earning men. But it's like, how did you end up being an uh, average uh, earning man? Uh, because you are... Listen, my... Ma'am, hold on. Don't overtalk me. Don't overtalk. I'm going to answer your question. Are you a college student? I just graduated last Thursday. So you understand a bell curve? I do. Then you understand the middle point, the median? The yes, median? That's mm -hmm. average. How'd you become okay. average by being average? Okay. Average is not failing. It's average. I know. You, so you don't mind belittling average earning men, but you got the, you think that men, so you don't have a problem with belittling average earning men, but I'm you got an issue. Any, oh, any who said wants a, who wants an average nobody, earning man? Who wants an average earning man? No, listen to what I said. I said no, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? You don't talk to me that way. I do not know the French toast you think you're talking to. You're 30 years my junior. Unmute yourself. Ma'am, let's be about to be clear on something. One thing above all else. I'm not your contemporary. You can vehemently disagree with me, but you cannot disrespect the fact that I am older than you. That's true. Now, you were saying about the average man and how that's not the same as a BMI or a woman's fitness. Yes. Explain. What I mean is that weight fluctuates. I can change my weight, but they can't change their tax bracket. And that's not my fault. Fair? First, no, no, no. Actually, it's not. Agree? No, 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 no. It's First of all, I talk about dress size, not weight. Okay, dress size is still in the same correlation. No, it's not. It is absolutely not. You can wear dress size six or dress size four and have a different body composition because muscle weighs more than fat. See, I've, I've accounted oh, for so that. Oh, so you do know that. Well, look here, smart ass. I'm the fucking image consultant, and I'm about to make a real bad day for you if you don't check that smart ass mouth talking to a grown damn man. This is the last warning, young lady, and it's going to get real bad from here. How's he going to get that? How about that? How about that? See? How's it going to get bad? And you wonder why you end up getting talked to crazy because that is what goes on. I'm a push. I'm a push. I'm a push. I'm a push. And you wonder why so many women end up getting abused and hand upside. Da, 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 da. That's what they got to deal with. That's it. So let's have fun, shall we? You say what now? Hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me let me have you come back. Hold on, you come back. Since since, since you chose violence, since though you chose violence, let's give you violence. She chose violence. Let let's do it. You chose violence. No 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 no. You can't overtop me. Since you chose since you chose violence. Since you chose violence, you idiot woman, idiot woman. Since you chose violence, let's choose violence. Go ahead and ask your question. I like to hear a woman make a lot of sound. I was watching one of your shows the other day, okay? She was 5'4", 
She weighed about 186 pounds. Oh, and you said, you yeah. weighed more than the average guy that yeah. she and like the guy was also making $40,000 an hour or $40,000. Shorten your question, ma'am. How can I tell a woman that she weighs what, what? How can you tell a woman that she weighs 186 pounds and she's 5'4 that she can't get the type of man that she wants because she doesn't. That's not what I said. Like, no, 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 no. If you're going to say, I said you weigh more than a man at your height and the kind of men that she wants don't want women who are her size. How can I tell her that? Because I deal yeah. with the kind of men she wants and they've told, told me they don't want women her size. Do you not, you ladies don't seem to not care about, do you look at my community tab? Do you look at what any of the men say? You ladies all come in here with your own facts of what you believe and you dismiss what the men have been saying for the longest. Show me where you see, possible? show me. And that's the problem. You ladies all deal in, because you are, because women who are like the women in question are so unwilling to get in the gym and exercise. You are on what's possible. Well, guess what, ma'am? If that's the case, why don't you take all of your money and go to Las Vegas or buy a lottery ticket and and see if you can win? Because it's possible you could take all your money and win. But that's not sound financial planning, is it? All right. Now, do you agree that that's a social Is it norm? sound financial planning? You don't but just you, skip past my question. Is it sound not, financial it's planning not sound to do financial planning? But that's what you're you're saying that why don't you just go get a ticket to Las Vegas and win the lottery, which could be possible, but it doesn't sound fit or sound financial planning. But now my next question is, everything you've just based off of everything you've just stated, do you agree that that is the social norm? Like you say, these men are looking for women. What the fit. social norm is, ma'am, is men want women who are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no children. And the fact of the matter is, more women today, especially in our community, 80% over, 80% um, of women are overweight. 80% of that number is obese. Like it or not, lady, ma'am, men get to pick. And the men have said what they want for the longest. The better question is, instead of worrying about what I say about women, are you winning? I'm upcoming. You're, you're upcoming what? I'm upcoming to the to this fact where I'm going to be. No, no. Do you, uh, do you want to be married? Yes, I do want to be married. Of course. Do you want children one day? Yes, I do want children. Are you in a relationship? I am currently talking to someone. I'm not in a relationship yet. But uh -huh. I'm actively talking and what does he want? the same things that I want. What does he, that he mean? He 100% agrees with everything you agree with, which is where... That's I, right. And if he, and that's the problem. He agrees with what I agree with and he's going to put a standard on your ass and you're going to have to do something about it. And here's the thing. The kind of men that agree with I, what I agree with tend to make something out of themselves. And that's really the problem. That you have to live with a standard. Because if you're talking to somebody who believes what I believe, then how can you even talk to him? Because he's going to be something. I mean... Because he's going to be somebody. Thought, we have thought-provoking conversations. Because he's going to be somebody. So I'm not going to be somebody? You're going to be his woman at best. Absolutely not. <laughs> young man, <laughs> run. Not run. Run, run, young man, run. Run. Feminist, womanist, alert. Man, do yourself. But I'm, See, here's the thing. What be you, do you. What is wrong with being a feminist? Uh, nothing if you don't mind living by yourself with a bunch of cats. Excuse me? There's no excuse for you, ma'am. I've tried my best to make one. Now, if you want to play these games with me, I will take the gloves completely off and go there. Do you really want to go there? I just want to understand how you think because the way you're thinking... Uh, the way I think about... No, no, no. You don't have to understand. I explain. And another thing, at 22 years old, why do you think you have the keys to life and you know everything? I do not have the keys to life, but there's just something exactly. I just don't agree with. Like, Good. Don't agree with it. Don't agree with it. Don't agree that. with it. Don't agree with it. Don't agree. That doesn't matter whether you agree or don't disagree. The, the point is the men get to pick what they want from a woman. What is your, is your father or your father and mother married? My father's deceased. Sorry to hear that. But lady, if you walk around with this disagreeable attitude, you'll be good to have relations with. But as far as trying to build a family and make something with a woman that needs to be cooperative, good luck. I can be cooperative. It's just yeah, of course you can. You but tell me, tell me, a, tell me a country where womanist womanist policies have led it into uh, a first world country and a first world situation and sustained it. Listen, this is not about. Uh uh. You answered the question. Don't tell me. Listen, shit. 
See, you guys need to understand something. This this woman right here is the poster child for what's wrong with the black community. This that that woman right there, clip it, put it on World Star. She really thinks she's doing something. And I didn't say anything about looks. If she says she's dress size, whatever, cool. No need to even go into the rankings or whatever. Yeah, her attitude's bad. Her attitude is unattractive. Extremely unattractive. And the problem is, what did Tom like to say? Feminism, womanism is a way to level the sexual marketplace value for, for unattractive women. I didn't make it up. He said other words. But at the end of the day, ladies, uh, the kind of men you want, want something. And notice for everybody else, she had no problem saying who wants an average man when she looked like that. An average looking woman. Oh, yeah, you average as hell. Oh, yeah, you average as hell. <clears throat> yeah, you average as hell. Yeah, you look at her. She triggered, triggered, average as French toast. Look at this, average as with dripping in the gold, nineteen eighty six shit. Hey, look at my chains. Rock him and say, people, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, bad attitude, and they really think they're doing something. Really think they're doing something. Oh, she, she, hey man, she gave a finger. Such a lady. She's such a lady. You idiot woman. Idiot woman. Flash. Hear my womanly roar. Oh. Yeah. Yes. You know what? I am a strong, independent woman. <laughs> I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Mm-hmm. I like to hear a woman make a lot of sound. See, y'all may not like it, but unattractive, disagreeable women hate rankings. They hate the standards. Now, that woman says she's a self-professed four at a hundred and whatever, whatever. And because I won't go argue with her on that, I'm like, you got other things going on. He, uh, he agrees with a lot of stuff. And that's what they're mad about. They're mad that men are starting to have standards. And she knows that if you, if you decide to go, if you decide to become a big Shirley, you're going to be up out of there. Y'all remember this? Let me let me do this real quick. I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh, Y'all know what she reminds me of? I'm gonna show you what that reminded me of. Show you what that reminded me of. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what that reminded me of. Huh? Who I was talking to just a minute ago? I was just like, what? You got an attitude about something? You got an attitude about something? Oh my gosh. She mad. She mad. <laughs> she mad. Here it is. <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, I can't find it. Oh. Tweety Pie. Remember Tweety Pie? Remember Tweety Bird? Y'all remember Tweety Bird? Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. <laughs> Tweety Bird. <laughs> remember Tweety Bird? <laughs> that was <your> mind. <laughs> Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. <laughs> Tweety Bird. Tweety. <laughs> Shout out to Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird in the house. Tweety Bird pissed off. How you gonna... Definitely like a 
What Sylvester and Tweety? Remember Sylvester? He said, I oh man, somebody make a. I would love to see somebody take that last clip and make it like Sylvester and Tweety. <laughs> Sylvester and Tweety. Tweety boy, Tweety, get your nerd on Tweety. Tweety, how are you gonna tell women that they don't need to be a th- how are you gonna how are you gonna objectify women? You couldn't objectify women's like that. That's not fair. Now it doesn't matter if a man if he's just average and broke, but you know that's okay. That's not fair. Women should be able to be big, bold, and beautiful, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It should be whatever. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alexis. Alexis. Unmute yourself. It doesn't matter. Hello. But <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? You're kind of off the camera. You need to kind of. I know switch. you have some guy in here, then it's kind of making me. No, oh, that's no. He's gone. Okay. <laughs> he's not a guy. That's a test tube baby, and he thinks he's being okay. funny. <laughs> see, the thing is, you see what you realize is when you see people like that, if you just ignore them, when you don't give them attention, they'll just leave. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's he, you know this. I mean. You saw how funny the, the boy looks a little special. Right? I mean, so we got to kind of, you remember those dudes? They don't mean no harm. They just have no social skills and they try, they don't know how to make friends. So we just let them by. But anywho, I mean, you've seen those guys before, Alexis. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to see him in this, uh, in the Zoom well, chat here. <laughs> they always hang around the cool kids. You know? I tried to tell him I ain't going I'm not gonna marry your mama and I'm not gonna be your stepdaddy, so stop coming around. But he just don't know no better. Bless his heart. Baby Yoda. Anywho, what you got for me? How old are you, by the way? Forty-four. Forty-four. So you know, remember them kids. See, boys like that used to put them in we put we put them in the special ed class when we were coming up. We can't use the words we used to use. But anyway, what do you got for me? Black women, what are you willing to do to save our community? Um, I've been thinking about this, but I think that we need to have more patience um, okay. when it comes to um, dealing with our men or just in general. Uh-huh. And I, I think that with having more patience, then um, hopefully that will lead to better results okay. down the road, um, even and allow us to do better in challenging times. Mm-hmm. What the heck just happened here? <laughs> Somebody's sleeping in their bed. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, glitch in the system. Have a having um more patience with your men. Are you married? No, I'm not. Have you been married? No. Any children? Yes, I have one. Okay. So why weren't you and the father married? Um, the same reason multiple women give all the time that uh, it's the recurring excuse. About the okay. How old is your kid? She's 18. Okay. Um, then what? Then what in regards to? Because you're only 40 what? 44? Yes. Is life over? Oh, not at all. I'm currently in a relationship and um, I will say that your channel has been extremely helpful mm-hmm. into me understanding what has been going on for the past about 10 years. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on, hold on. An incredibly condescending statement. Who is this person? What's an incredibly condescending statement, DBK? Go ahead. But you're in a relationship. 
Are you, how long you guys been together? Um, eight months. Um, what do you want out of going forward? What, what do you want? Uh, marriage. Um, now I've been wanting marriage all of this time. It's just that it's been very challenging. Um, and I think primarily not one of the main reasons um, that I didn't realize was an issue was being a single mom. Um, mm -hmm. And it was eye opening to me, um, you know, and watching your videos and learning that. And even talking to my girlfriends, they seem to think that that's not a reason. But in all they my seem to think what's not a reason being a single mother, being a single mom. Yeah. But all of my guy friends, including my boyfriend, even say that being a mom, a single mom does knock down your value. So. It's, no, it's well, it doesn't. Real. So, I mean, so your child is 18. So is going, your child going to college or something? Yeah, she is. So, I mean. Well, that means you're being paroled. That means you're being paroled. Correct. You're right. You're right. Right now. But, you know, 10 years ago, she, she was much younger. And Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so good. Good. Now you got a shot at life. Hold on, Alexis. I'm going to bring on this person that says Zoom user. Yeah. Uh, guys, don't worry. If y'all see some little weirdo popping here. He, that's this is the little dude who keeps trying to get me to adopt him. Remember how those little kids are? You gotta let them run their energy out. He'll take a nap. Hello, how are you? Good. How old are you? All right. What do you got for me on the topic? What are women willing to do to? Uh, what do you need to do to save your community? When I think of community, I think of my family and my close relationships that I've built within the cities or areas that are very meaningful to me. When, um, you, when you think of community, so to, you think about your family? Mm -hmm, I think about the people around me. I think about my family. I think about... Okay, but how do you get a family? How do you get a family? Family. So family is not... A no, 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 no. How do you... Oh, how do I get a family? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what you're saying now. Me personally, my relationship that I've been in, it's been about five years now, I'm not married. Um, but I take, I take part in my actions, what I've done, and I'll take accountability for it. I didn't fight as hard as I should have for Are you in a relationship right now? Uh, we are working on things, yes, we are. So you're, ninth, you're 24 and you've been in a relationship for five years. Any children? Mm -hmm. No, no children. Okay. Yet. So you're idea of community is kind of small you're a family yeah. but that's not a community that's a family mm -hmm. right right i've always been somebody who liked to feel really reserved because i felt like that was my comfortable place reserved and my reserved yeah i i say to myself um when it comes to everything really i don't like doing things that get me out of my comfort zone but my therapist has been trying to not trying to he's been convincing me that i need to be more involved how long have you I been working to, with a therapist been six months now and what's the underlying is, is there an underlying animating issue the underlying issue for me was my family that was an underlying issue um, right. I, yeah, I've, I grew up in a very, very, very toxic household and are you still living, are you still living in the same city? Um, actually, no, I moved a few cities over, so I come to visit the old city sometimes. Okay. But, but you, okay. But you're in a five-year relationship that's, mm -hmm. I mean, how old is he? He will be 26. So he's really too young to be doing anything either. Um, the likelihood of you guys progressing towards any healthy thing, y'all been together five years and y'all are working on it. I mean, psh, puppy love. Yeah, that's initially how I've seen it too. We, He's too young. Yeah. He's likely too young to, to, to lead a family and a, and a, and a wife. If y'all, right. okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to just say this cut to the that. chase. If you've had mm -hmm. issues with your family, good that you're away uh, at some point you're going to have to decide to cut off the old life and, and get on to the new part because 
because this won't this won't this won't work long term. Yeah, and and you need, I've been really wanting the long term with him, and he. Well, you can't make very... you can't you can't make him be anything that he's mm -hmm. not. I agree, a hundred percent. He's just been very vocal lately about making things work, and. Well, what does that mean? To me, words don't mean much. It's more action. But that's right. Where if I he's not okay, you've been together five years. If not marriage, then what else? Right. Right. All right. Then right. you ladies make the mistake of saying one thing and staying. Mm -hmm. Right. And for yeah. the woman I just heard talk is the woman who values comfort. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. You'll comfort yourself right on into the danger zone if you want to. Yeah, you see, that's not what I want to do. I, well, then I, it's then at some point, you know what's ahead of you. Five mm -hmm. years, you're not married. It's over. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Okay. I, you know that. I mean, me, but you know that though. Yeah. No, personally, me, I. I well then, then like if that's the case, then if that's the, the case, then if that's the case, women, in, if you're in a dead in relationship, you can't give anything to a community because, like you said, the first thing that you think about community is family, and you can't give a fam the community a family in a dead in relationship. It all all roads lead back to Rome. Right. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. All right, Alexis, we're gonna. All right, uh, we're gonna bounce that out. Uh, yeah, Alexis, your friends are going to be mad that, um, but you, your daughter's, your kid's 18, enjoy your life. Hey, uh, yeah, Christina, you, I can't see you, so you're in a black, you're in a black screen, that ain't going to come through. Uh, yeah, the little dude, bless his, bless his little peanut head. Hey, man, give, tell your mama to give me a call. Okay, uh, Christina. Go ahead and unmute you. Look at him. He just he, he got all the lines open too. Somebody go get that boy some lotion and a girly magazine so he can go somewhere with himself. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. How old are you? Seven. I'll be thirty right. this year. So what? 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 Are black women willing to do to save the community? Um, I think I, I agree with what you've said thus far in a bunch of your uh, recordings, which is fit, feminine, friendly. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, we need to unlearn a lot of things. We need to get ourselves in therapy, get healing, um, and be prepared to be that woman, that support system to a man. But I, 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 I also don't hear a lot of your um, addressing the man, the black man. And How long are you watching me? Uh, on and off, like about a couple of weeks. Okay. Well, at first, sorry, man. At first, sorry, um, ma'am. I've not addressed me for three years. Well, okay. I will say that I, I, I was initially, um, had like some restrictions when watching it. Cause I, I, I was, what was like, um, the message is kind of like too harsh, but I took a step back and kind of, um, just the message is too harsh. Right, initially, because you know, accountability as a woman, you don't want to take accountability for certain things. But then when you when you take it in through going through therapy and understanding what you're saying, um, it makes perfect sense. It makes so, perfect sense. But what I need you to understand is you come to me, come to this as a woman who's thirty, almost forty years old, and you can only you can only piece me on my content because it's too harsh at almost forty. No, no, you're not I'm sorry. Listen, I'm saying listen, that listen, 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 listen. You haven't okay. even got to the point where I'm about to say. Okay, I'm listening. What you gotta you're in the dark. What are you doing? No, I'm I'm just walking. Sorry, go ahead. You, you gotta stay in the light though. Okay. But you also gotta understand, but you say I don't say anything about the men. Daytime TV is littered with conversation by men. If you're 40, tell me the places where you hear men's talking about what they want from women from a man's standpoint outside of my platform. Not a lot. Excuse me? Not a lot, sorry. So why would, why do y'all keep coming over asking me to do something that you already recognize is not done? 
And what it does is it further reinforces your sensitivity. True. Do you have any children? No. So, have you? Do you want to be married? I do. Yes. You want kids? Do you? Did you want? Do you want kids? I didn't till recently. How many kids do you want now? One. How tall are you? Five, four and a half. Dress size? Size eight. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 168. That was coming. So you want kids now in your late 40s. Mm-hmm. What? Say that again? Late you 40s? Want, I mean, late 30s. I'm sorry, late 30s. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be, uh, hopefully, you, hopefully, you know, that's still possible. But I, I hope lady, so. I really hope well, so. I'm optimistic. Well, and my concern is so many of our women are waiting till geriatric pregnancy before you're even ready to start having kids and thinking about a husband. Yeah, but but here's the thing, though. I I feel like it's better late than never. I feel like once you get it together, a child is a huge responsibility. Like you don't want to have children that you don't, you're not ready for mentally, physically, emotionally. And if you have to get it right to do so, I believe you should. That's my honest opinion about that. And I get it. We should get it earlier, but some of us. All right, but listen, but listen, nature disagrees. No, of course. And, and no, that's, I, that's not give me, I could even give you my point. You didn't know. Don't just blow past what I'm saying. You need to slow down and listen. Okay, sir. See, that's the problem. Y'all are so used to hearing what y'all want to hear. When a man speaks, y'all are just, let him get on. No, listen. Nature disagrees. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means, you know, I might have it harder than a, a 25 year old. I might have to do IVF. I might have no, to. No, see, to- see. Nature doesn't do IVS. Right. Medicine does. Science does. Thank you. So don't just go blow past what I said until you explain. Nature says no. Nature doesn't care about you having your shit together and da 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 Nature says you need to have these babies when you're young enough to carry them because if you don't, your body's not meant to do this this late in the game. Mm-hmm. So if women who wait late are in conflict with not men, you're in conflict with nature. That's my ultimate point. And why would nature want to wait till women are 40? Nature wants y'all to start having babies in your, when did you start your cycle, ma'am? What age? I think 10. So it's really early. All right. Nature's been telling you for a long time. But you ain't heard nature's call. Now, to be fair, it's not as though we wait until we get married to have relations. So if you've been having relations around the normal time frame, that means a couple of decades easy of having relations with no birth because you've been able to avoid that through medicine and technology. Nature wants different Right. Without modern birth control and modern medicine, the chances of having no children by your age, if you're sexually active, is very small. Consequences, I agree. Not consequences, that's nature. The consequences no, of consequences of making the the choices that I but need you would have but but that that's the case. You you'd have gotten and my point is thank you. And the point is. If that was if that's what it was, you'd have gotten your quote, we'd have got your step together a lot sooner because you'd have had to deal with those consequences. Mm-hmm. See, far too many of our women feel as though because IVS, and I'm gonna do that broadcast next week, IVS and all this stuff is an option that it, that makes it a viable option, and it is not. It is very expensive, and there are no guarantees that this is going to work. And unless you have a lot of money spent, how much how much money does the average woman spend in in vitro fertilization? Between twenty five to thirty five thousand. I'm in Canada, so I'm giving Canadian prices. So twenty five to thirty five thousand. That's per. That's how often. Uh, per 
per shot. Although, and, and how often, and, and how many, and, and what's the average, and how many shots, how many procedures before implantation successful? I'm not sure. See, the presumption is you just got to play one time and it works. That's not how it works. But let's just take your number, 25,000. If it takes you four times, that's 100,000. Well, I'm in Canada, so I got that good health care. So it will cover me for at least four to five times until I'm 45. And see, that's the problem because and that's the problem. Thank the <laughs> men of Canada for making a modern health care system. Either way it goes. And, and my point is to have the conversation with younger women to recognize this is Herculean efforts. And this is a good conversation to let women need, know that younger women, you need to exercise, move with a sense of urgency because females worldwide have to get the major parts of your life together sooner than men do. So I uh, hope it all works out for you, though, man. Pre Thank, Thank you. you for the call. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, I mean, I think it, I, I hear what she's saying, and she's right. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor baby. They think they're going to get in. So, um, let me turn this off. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. That's what's going to happen. Um, so, that was a good question the BGS laid out there. What are black women prepared to do to save the community? Because if you're independent, you're independent of everybody. If you're not with, if, if you don't belong to the men of your group, like every other, all other women feel like they belong to their men. In our community, I wouldn't feel like they're their own group. As such, they're always asking for their own set asides. I, I, I'd say look at women who do that stuff and just avoid them. If you deal with a woman who thinks that woman is feminist, we need our own female carve outs. I would say, uh, Handle with care, but I would more like to say deal with a woman who says the community is a a a a family with kids. What are you willing to do? The best thing any pro black woman could do is get with a black man and make and make get married and make some black kids. That's the best thing you can do for the black community. Don't worry about talking to your sisters and your girlfriends. No. Give them, give them something to strive for. Be that. And what did I say? What do you owe your community? What are you willing to do to save your community? And if you're not willing to do anything to save your community, why do you keep talking about community? See, it is time for the other half of the community to step up and do what they need to do. Hey, Carol, Caroline. It is time for the other half of the community to step up and do their part. You ready, Caroline? Unmute yourself. It is time for y'all to step up and do y'all's part. It is time. It is. We're going to have the selective service for women. It is. We need to. Who's a graphics person? Somebody go get an old selective service card that you used to have to fill out at 18. We need to get women a selective service card and you need to fill out your selective service card to be a part of the community. We need to draft y'all. Hello? That's cool. astral projector in Bali um, yeah I remember yeah I've been following you for a couple of months now and I'm in the Tantra community here which is all about masculine feminine union and sacred marriage um, so I'm very fascinated by like the real world application like what's happening here on earth with these energetics and um, I've been posting some of your quotes on my feed and I've I have an audience now and um, childless, single, 
beautiful women like still have a problem with what you're sad. saying. Um, childless, what? Made childless, childless, what? single, beautiful, fit, feminine, friendly. They still have a problem. Not so much. I'll, I'll agree. They, they definitely have some, um, there's some consensus, but mm -hmm. there's definitely a, a hesitation to fully submit what, to your views. But, what, but, but you also, what they also don't have is what? Right. They are single. Thank you. Um, so they're dating stop, stop right here. Stop right here. Stop right here. Stop right here. Okay. See, I draw the line at dating, dealing with single, uncooperative women regardless yeah more attractive women tend to have less of a problem because they can leverage their looks but they still can't get marriage right men, so men choose why when i posted about mm -hmm. i'm saying men men get to decide who becomes a wife and it doesn't and Absolutely. does it matter does it matter what the women like or what the buyer what men want when it comes to I understand to yeah the consumer um if the man is the consumer then the woman should be making herself the best version of herself and mm -hmm. going to the gym really getting into shape if what he from your statistics if what he's looking for is an 8 9 or 10 and um, this is how she wants to present. However, what happens when they both have high earnings and they're both um, in like the upper tier of attractiveness? Nobody, this is just a lot of women from stop, my stop. audience. It doesn't matter what women earn. See, here's the net, here's the here's the bottom line, Carolyn. I'm here. I talked about this earlier. The larger percentage of women who earn PhDs never marry or have children. The problem that many modern women today is you are in direct conflict with what men of all socioeconomic status is want. You're the freest, you're the most intelligent, you're most educated, most advanced group of women to ever walk the planet to the point to where you could astral project. But what women cannot seem to accomplish is what women back in the hunter-gatherer technologies could do, become a wife. So if a man is going to be is that our savior, is that is, is that listen is that true or false? Yeah, it it is true. I I see the the need to be grounded by the masculine in our lives. Whether that's, I mean, sadly, it's represented by so many different things these days. Um, it can be represented, and, but and not Caroline, physical I mean, man. And I don't want. And I'm, I'm trying to have this conversation with you, but it's a little outside of the parameters of what the. My normal conversation is if women want to be happy with them and living, cooperating with the man, they're going to have to give men what they want or men won't deal with them. Not the kind of men they want to deal with. It doesn't matter how attractive a woman is, how much money she earns. At best, she will be a sexual object. And I'm curious, like, how did you develop this frame versus I know you were in singles ministries and probably man, had a man, different man, frame how, for it. Okay. Okay. If you haven't been watching my channel, if you haven't been talking, to, I have talked, I have been dealing, I've been talking with the men about relationships for the better part of 30 years. I'm 52 years mm -hmm. old and I speak with people. I've been doing, this is not new. And the things I'm saying, ma'am, do you think I have almost 900,000 subscribers because what I'm saying is so disruptive and revolutionary? Everywhere I go, men are saying thank you for telling the truth. I got I took 30 I took pictures for 30 minutes yesterday in a mall around young rappers who with entourages. You mm -hmm. ladies worldwide need to understand that modern women are out of step with modern men. That's why Korea is dying. That's why Japan is dying. That's why Australia is where it's at. That's why London and UK is where it's at. That's why Canada is where it's at. Western countries are falling apart because men are not marrying women and the birth rates are falling. And it's not because men don't want women. It's, be, it's because modern women are out of step with what men want. So whether you're in Bali or whether you're here, if you don't give the consumer what they want, they will not buy. 
And I mean, if you see this as like risk reward, like why would a man invest in a woman who he sees as having the potential, like, and it's a, it's like a narrower timeline. Maybe he sees within three months that she's going to be able to, to be. Why would a man invest the, in a woman, woman to do his what? By the, why would a man, why would a man invest in a woman who what? Who is, um, who he sees as more of a match, like versus like the hypergamous frame, which you operate within. And I, I understand this as well. I understand hierarchy and- Ma'am, um, the hyperg hypergamy is not a frame. Hypergamy is just a part of uh, evolutionary biology. Hypergamy exists- I, in, Yeah. Okay, look. I know. <clears throat> we're, we're making this extremely complicated. If women need to figure out what the man wants and give it to them, because a yeah. man is not going to invest in a woman that he can't get a return from. That's but if the, she pays him. If she pays him to what be her husband? If she pays him for like let's say a three month, uh, three month trial period. Pay? Are you actually kind of saying a woman's going to pay a man to be to to date her for three months? Yes. Yeah, it's happening. You because know what it's called? You know potential. what it's called? They're doing it in, in Korea already. There are. It's called when people come over and uh, they're giving hugs. They're, in this country, it exists. It's called rent a gent. That already exists. It's already being is tried the goal out. Because marriage. Excuse me. The goal is marriage in this system. No, my point is women are women. Women are having to. Women are having because modern women cannot seem to in nature get a husband they're having to contract out what a man would what a husband would do it's called rent a gent in canada and in japan they have what's called hug services women are actually invite having paying men to come over and look at them in their eyes for hours i'm not making this up you ladies are out of step with nature and if here's the thing, you know what a woman used to have to pay a man what? to be with her? What? Sole access to her vagina and womb, sole exclusive access. But since you become sexually liberated and you can pass that stuff around to whoever you want and have sex how you want with no consequence, the value has dropped. So the one thing that women have traditionally exchanged for a man's resources protection and masculine frame with sole access to her vagina and her womb you no longer have that because you're not a virgin so guess what the other things you have money becoming less and now money men don't care about money like that men would what if men, this is his job to groom her okay like again this is his. carolyn we're, we're in never never land first off women don't I earn men like that and the fact that we've been having this conversation just shows you how far women have gone. Instead of just becoming natural women to men the way you want I to, see. if you got to hire yeah. a man, I, I, hey man, good luck with that man, but you can't do it because most women earn about 70 cents on every dollar for what men earn because of the jobs women choose. Women don't have money like that. That's why women are so, needing the state. Carolyn, Carolyn, you're talking about an exclusive small set of women and I will tell you this, the men that are going to be able to hire are going to be beta males. There won't be men <laughs> worth the damn. There'll be men who have to accept a woman's money. I got it. Yeah, go. or there'll be a fraud. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. Hey, yeah, it's, it's always fun talking to the Bali astral projector. But seriously, though, ladies, I, I kid you not, Renegent, women are hiring men to come over and install ceiling fans. Men are being hired for the boyfriend experience. See, escorts, when men used to hire a woman to go to a party or this or that, that's always existed. Women are having to hire men to do boyfriend husband stuff. You're talking about women, and if you think it's just mud ducks, oh no. Oh no. You know, that may be a good video to actually have women. Who, uh, your audio is not connected. They have women come over to show you, it's like, oh, she's got to have a husband? Uh huh. All right, unmute yourself.
Hello. Hello. Hi, your first name? Bethany. Okay. How old are you? I am 34. What do you got for me? Um, I was calling in to see about what modern women need to do in order to better the black community. Um, yeah. As far as, I guess I can speak from my standpoint. Um, I know I have, I've been, I have been married. Okay. Um, I, my husband and I are separated and okay. um, for you have any children? Reasons, I'm sorry. Do you have any children? Yes, we do. Go ahead. Okay. And um, we have gone back and forth. Um, I attempted to go to therapy. He has refused to go to therapy. He has moved on. And I really don't know as far as if I want to, I, I've offered a lot of things, but I guess what I have offered, he doesn't want to go along with that. So I'm kind of just calling in just to see. Um, I've, you know, said well, sorry. Let, I've let, let's see. Let's let's start here. You, I'm sorry. Okay. You said you do have children, or you do not? We do. How many? Five. The age of the youngest? Um, they're almost two. Twins. Mm-hmm. And the oldest? A teenager. All five by your husband? Yes. You guys have been married for how long? Mm, nearly 15 years. And why, and what was the reason you guys separated? Um, <laughs> it's kind of a still of a shock to me as well. Um, but we've had our, you know, differences. So he decided to opt out and go with another woman. He left you for another woman because of, I don't, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and is it, usually separations are not the first, is it the first time you guys have separated or is this the final time? This is the final time. Um, so yeah. How many times have you, how many times have you guys actually? Two times. Okay. So this so is this the third? The third. Is it is this the third? Mm -mm. Yes, this froze. Do 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 it just froze, froze it, froze it, froze it, froze it. Okay, okay. Well, well, it froze. So unfortunately, uh, maybe she'll pop back in. There she goes. All right. Unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, I'm here. So you guys, is this the third time you guys have been separated or the second? No, the second time. Okay. So when you say, okay, and the first time you guys were separated was how long before the second time? Mm, it was at least several years in between. I can't really put a number on it right now. Because it's unusual for a man to have five children with his wife. 15 years married, and then he just decided to, to, to up and leave. And you said there's another woman involved? Mm-hmm. Uh, what did he say about that? Um, initially, I was extremely upset. And as time passed on, I wanted to basically told him, keep your girlfriend, let's work it out, be a family. But that option, he didn't want to do that. Okay. Um, so I really don't know where to go from that. So I just basically have, you know, you, relocated. 
I'm sorry. So, so you 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 offer to basically accept his mistress. Does he want a divorce? I'm sorry. Does he want a divorce? That's why he left, and he hasn't put forth the paperwork towards that, and neither have I. Okay. But Are you guys I'm living in point. different states? I'm sorry. Are you guys living in different city or different state? Different cities, yes. And the children with you? Yes. Do they have, do they see their father? Yes, they see him. How often? Um, every other weekend. Okay. So, and how long has he been with this other woman? That is, I don't know. Um, there's at least at least a, a year. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, I mean, if you if you've made the offer to try to work it out and try to, it sounds like he's cut off all communication with you. Um, and if that's the case, it's unfortunate because if somebody's chosen to, you can't make somebody be there if they don't want to. No, I know that. So at this point you'll be well within your right and justified to just unfortunately bite the bullet and file yourself. Mm -hmm. No, that's what I plan to do. Um, but you, I just wanted to see, cause I've always wanted to have that black family unit and to do whatever I needed to do as far well, as I don't see that. what else you could, I don't see what else you can do. I, I don't I think, know. I mean, if, if, if what you're telling me, and I have no reason to, to believe it or not. If you offer to say, look, keep your woman on the side. Let's just keep our family together. If he's not being accepting of that and he's just like, I'm done, I'm going this path. Well, mm -hmm. you don't have to. I don't think there's anything else that you would be required to even try. I mean, he at least owes you an explanation as to why. Unless he's yeah. just said, I just don't want to be here anymore. If that is the case, I would like to know that and just... I think he voice. owes you that. Yeah, he hasn't really said any of that. So. Well, uh, unfortunately, this is the... Mm, that's rather childish as a man, honestly. So if you're yeah, listening, man, that's bullshit. I mean, many women would not have offered to bring the mistress in or to accept the mistress. So if you've honestly said that to him and he's declined that, he owes you closure. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like you're dealing with somebody who's mature, who even thinks they owe you anything. A 15 year marriage of five kids. Um, so sometimes you got to give yourself the closure that you wish you would get. Trust me, I've been in a position where I felt I would deserve something and I didn't get it. And it, it'll bother you. Are you in counseling? Mm -hmm. Yes. I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You'll have to work through it and give yourself the closure. Because unfortunately, and I don't have time to deal, delve into it, if you're mm -hmm. dealing with somebody who may be a borderline, like a narcissist or that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, they don't give. They don't give. Borderline narcissistic personalities, which I'm not saying, but mm -hmm. you may not be able to get the resolve you want. But you still have to be able to move forward knowing that you did your level best to sustain your marriage and go above and beyond. Um, where many women, many women would just have done it. But when you said, I offered to let him keep his girl and he still don't want to talk to you, you, you got to give yourself the healing you need. And here's the thing. Well, you may not be able to hear this right now. These kind of uh, women with your mentality, you know how old again? 34. Life's not over. Life's not over. Uh, so, you know, it, it probably seems very dark right now, but trust me, I had a session with a woman today where I had to give her some advice that she didn't want to hear. And I said, mm -hmm. men look for women who have your kind of attitude. Because that's something a lot of guys can work with. Kids, no kids, whatever, you know. But you cannot make somebody who does not want to be there for you, for you. He's there for his children. What you can tell me, right? He still has that, you know, 
you got to give yourself space to heal and move on. Um, mm -hmm. And you can't do it while leaving a space there for him to come because sounds like he left and he's not coming back. And that's just cold. That's a very cold thing to do. And it's, a, in my opinion, it's the wrong thing to do. But the, the universe has a strange way of righting wrongs like that. But it will not be on your terms and often not even given by you. And you got to get all right with that. If he gets his just desserts, as it were, you may never even see it. But you don't want to walk around with that blockage in your life. Yeah, absolutely. So counseling, mm -hmm. um, therapy, counseling, support. Um, I would, I would also, how you leave it with the children is going to be very important. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of involving kids and in grown folks business. Um, you know, I, it's easier said than done in the day of the internet, but mm -hmm. at 34 life ain't over, but it's going to be tough for, for a minute. Uh, yeah. don't pick up any bad habits like eating, eating. Work out. <laughs> yeah, I love working out. I, have I mean, just stay in a positive place. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you'd be amazed. <laughs> I don't want to get on here and start testifying. But anywho, it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not, trust me, it, it can be, it can seem really jacked up right now. But yeah. you can sleep well knowing I did as much as I could. Exactly. That's 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 a peace of mind that many people wish they had right now. So all the best, young lady. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Um, yeah, man. Um, I'm just say uh, I don't know you, sir, and I'm going to assume she's being accurate. Your wife of X amount of years with five of your children. You owe that woman. Peace of mind and closure. That's the mother of your children. And I'm no, I'm not perfect. And I made a lot of mistakes in my life. But the mother of your children, sometimes you as a man, we got to let our ego take a step back for what may be best for the kids. To have the conversation, man. There's no need to leave, make that woman an enemy. Uh, have the conversation with her. I'll just say that. All right, uh, ma'am, your, your camera's not connected. Uh, yeah, but I hate women, right? <laughs> I hate women so much, right? I hate women so much. Um, young lady in the comment section, the Zoom, you're not, you're not, your, your, your microphone's not connected. Um, I will say this, that, oh, it's past one o'clock. I got, okay, your audio's not connected. We got about, it's, it's late, guys. We're going to wrap it there. Ladies, whether you agree or disagree with the way I put things, I, my, my, my challenge is this. As our community, we're all we got. And we need, the, we need our women to recognize that you're ours. You, you belong to us like you say we belong to you. And it's time for you to start kicking in and doing your part. Independent, there's nobody any good except you. Independent is selfish. Interdependent is what's needed. A community is supposed to be a families, husband, wife, children, man, woman, child. And just because we haven't got it right doesn't mean we can't start. Like I say, we all need therapy, in my opinion. We're broken. We need help. But more than anything else, we need good faith. And a willingness to try to do better than we than we saw coming up. I'm not willing to throw a group of adults 23 to 60 or 23 to 55 away. There are people who are saying you got to start with these. Okay, that 
I can't, I just, I'm not ready to go there yet. I'm not ready to go there yet. And for the people who want something different, be the difference that you want. All right, folks, I got to get up out of here. You know how we do it. Till the next time, peace. We're gone. Headed to New York this week. NYC in the house. Godfather headed to Manhattan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, going to NYC. NYC. I cannot say what's wrong or right. That's real crystal. Make me a sandwich. My dog, die alone.